guys, it's Kylie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a Chunk Club unboxing. If you don't know what Chunk Club is, it is a subscription box from Nordstrom where they send you a box of clothing, accessories, shoes, everything in between. You get quite a few items in the box. Keep what you want, send back what you don't. You pay a $25 styling fee which goes towards any item in your box that you want to keep. If Nordstrom is having a sale on those items, you get the items on sale as well. So there's no other discount count options but if there are items on sale they'll honor that. I will list more information in the description box if you are interested. I will also put my link to sign up if you are interested in it. You will get $50 towards uh, your items if you sign up using my link and then I will get $50 as well so it's a win-win for both of us. This time around, I think I just asked for fall pieces. Cute and cozy. My Pinterest board is linked so they have that to go off of. Anyways, let's just get into what I have in the box. I am going to do the try on a little bit differently. I'm going to be trying to pair outfits together with everything we got in the box, which is another great thing about this box is when they send you an item, they give you outfit suggestions with items that are in the box as well as items that you have purchased in previous boxes. So so like this shirt here, it says that it would go well with the shorts that I've purchased in a past box, the sunglasses and the hat and stuff. So if you're not good at pairing outfits together, this is, it's just a really great feature on the app that I really love. So I'm going to be putting outfits together with what's in this box. So the first item is the Madewell Whisper Cotton V-neck t-shirt. It's $19.50 in the shade Faded Fig. It's just a plain purple colored v-neck t-shirt which these are always staples in every wardrobe i love these i usually get mine from target and stuff i'm pretty sure i've gotten the same exact shirt in white in a past box and i know i like it twenty dollars i don't think is bad for a good staple t-shirt i don't know if i am in love with the color i just i'm not a big purple fan but it's cute and i'm gonna pair these with the afrm odin ripped high waist wide leg jeans these are 78 dollars in the color lapis wash she said based on the reviews she sized down on these ones i'm not sure if i do like the wash of them they're just a really plain light wash and i don't know if i love it but they do look pretty cute i don't know if i'm a huge fan of the wide leg i like the bell bottom look but i don't know if i like the wide leg so they've got some distressing in what looks like the knees and wide legged all the way to the bottom so i'm hopeful for these i know these are really trendy right now let's Let's go try this on and see what we think okay this is the shirt untucked it's a little boxy just like this usually i would tuck it in depending on what i'm wearing it with but uh, i'm not a fan of it untucked with these jeans anyways actually you know what i'd be pretty cute if you did the little tie as well just put a little knot right there that would be cute but i am going to tuck it in just for the purpose of showing off the jeans and showing a better the shirt okay here's the shirt tucked in i like the knotted look of it better with like the back kind of hanging down it's fine it's just a square t-shirt i just don't know that i like the fit of it really uh the jeans are pretty cute decently high-waisted they're comfy i just don't know what kind of shoes i would wear with this can you see the bottoms? They reach the ground, so they're good length. Uh, I do like the distressing in them. I just I don't know what shoes I'd wear with them. I'm not a huge fan. I feel like if they were sized up, I would like them a little bit more. They are a little tight here. Not terrible, but they are a little tight. I'm not sure. I'm really back and forth on these. These aren't the right pair. Like, I would like to try a style like this, but not these ones specifically. I think the wash is really throwing me off. Not my favorite. Okay, let's move on to two new items. This next item I'm super excited about. These are by Spanx. These are their velvet leggings. I have gotten a pair of Spanx before. I think she sent me the wrong size. She definitely did. So I don't know if I'm even going to get these on because my last pair, pretty sure, are a size small and she sent me an extra small. So might have a problem with that. But these are in the shade black. They're just, they're uh, velvet 
velvety. The Spanx leggings that I have right now are more of a like a faux leather type and I wear them all the time. I love them so much. So I love that they come in a velvet texture. I think these are just so cute and fun. They're $98, did I say that? So I know I'll like them, just don't know if they'll fit. Next item, this is cut from the cloth Quinn Faux Suede Moto Jacket. This is $99 in the shade black. I love moto jackets. I do not own one and this one looks so good. So I am very excited about that. It's got zippers on the arms, zipper pockets on each side, one on the chest. It's real heavy. It feels great material. I love the suede rather than I know a lot of moto jackets are like the faux leather type stuff. So I really like that this one is suede, a little bit different. The lining is super soft satin-like material. It just feels like it's very good quality. We are gonna try these on together. I'm just gonna try it on with this purple top. All right, here is the jacket. I am in love with it so far. The arms are a great length. It feels pretty comfortable for the most part. Something's, oh, there's a tag on the neck, so that's what's itching me. But super duper cute. Everything it, about it is just really good quality. The the zippers, the material, everything about it. I really, really like it. I think it looks great on. I'm happy with it. Now, as for the leggings, these are super cute. I don't know how I managed to get these on. Wowza. They are tight. <laughs> but they are super cute. I really love the velvet about them. I think this is overall a very cute outfit. Be cute with some nice sneakers. I really like that the Spanx are high-waisted. They are not very strong stretchy at all even the other material ones that I have they're not super stretchy so you really have to make sure you get the right size I mean obviously they're a little bit stretchy because I got them on but they're tight they're uncomfortable because they don't fit but overall I love both of these items for sure I'm just gonna stand here and talk to you about the next item so I don't have to keep changing the camera angle the first next item is the adidas originals Addy color sweatshirt this is $50 in the shade Wonder White. It's just a simple cream colored Adidas sweatshirt. I really like this. It almost has a cropped feel to it. It's really wide. It looks just super comfortable, super soft on the inside. I love pieces like this. I just bought an Adidas sweatshirt, so I know I'm probably gonna like it as long as the fit is good. Don't know that I love the cream color because I just don't wanna get it dirty. I get white things dirty so easily. So that I'm not too sure about, but I'm gonna try this on with the leggings and the other item I'm gonna try it on with is this sweaty Betty icon felt baseball cap this is $38 it is in the shade follow red and I do really love the color it's more of a maroon red than anything it's super cute I do really enjoy wearing hats I'm just not too sure about the felt I guess on the inside though it's got the you know room around it it's not like the felt should be touching my head so it shouldn't be uncomfortable it is really cute and then it has a stretchy back it's not really adjustable but this will stretch so hopefully it'll fit my head it says it's just a one size fits all let's try those two items on together okay we are back with the two new items I am loving this hat like I said before I'm a hat person I love wearing baseball hats this one I particularly like because it fits well with my glasses and looks good with them when I try to wear hats with my glasses the glasses get in the way and they get pushed down or they push the hat up and then it looks Looks funny but for whatever reason this one fits right around them perfectly fine and it's super cute I love it for the fall color mm. I really like it. I am also loving the Adidas sweatshirt. I just love this whole outfit together. It's a cute but comfy fall outfit. Super simple, super comfortable. A nice lounging, running around outfit with still looking cute, I think. I love it. I want to keep this whole thing. I'm fairly certain, yeah, I got foundation on the hat, so I feel like at this point I'm just gonna have to keep it. Okay, next item is by Vici. The Vici Collection Ruffle Long Sleeve Knit Top. This is in the shade white. It's $62. Uh, she said this looked similar to a style you loved. Maybe it was on my Pinterest. Um, looking at it like this, I do not love it. <laughs> the, I'm not sure. Are, it's long sleeved. It's like a linen material. There are flutter ruffles on each shoulder. It's super wide. I like 
oversized things sometimes so hopefully this will just lay right and look cute but again it's white and it's $62 like I would pay $50 for this because I know I would wear this like all the time this I don't know about yet I mean I guess we'll just see it when it's on the material itself feels pretty nice the sleeves are heavy with all that ruffling on it hopefully you can see it since it is white against white but we're gonna try that on with the Spanx again and I'm gonna also try on these Tom's Reese cap toe Chelsea boots these are in the shade taupe and they are a hundred dollars no they are hundred nine dollars and ninety five cents I like the color they've got a nice just you know some line detailing on it so the stitching is cute the side has like a little what do you call this it helps it be a little bit more stretchy and on the side it's got the zipper on the boot they do look cute but for $110 I don't think I'm gonna love them that much but we'll try them on with that shirt and these pants and be right back and we're gonna start with the shirt <laughs> it's not my style also I do like the oversized kind of ish look but that's uh, this is actually just too big if it sits where it's supposed to sit this neckline itself just drags down too far and I think it just looks silly it, it's just not very flattering on me in general I don't like this it's see-through it's comfortable but it's it's just not cute I not on me anyways it's, it's not for me so let's move on and talk about the shoes the shoes themselves are actually quite comfortable and very cute I still I'm I can't justify paying $110 for them because they're cute but they're not that cute and they're comfortable but it's not like I don't know wow I feel like if it were a different way cuter style that I just absolutely loved then maybe but I feel like I can get similar shoes like this anywhere else like Target Marshalls TJ Maxx these are just for the price not worth it for me let's move on to the next item this is the ASTR the label ruffle puff sleeveless top this is $55 in the color nutmeg I do think this looks promising. I'm excited about this. So we've got this rusty orangish color, super duper cute, some nice ruffle see-through sleeves, a ruffle top with like just, it's got layers of ruffles. Only problem for me is this looks pretty short. I don't really want my belly hanging out. Um, with my other Spanx leggings, they do, since they fit better, they come up a little bit more. So this probably would work with them, but I don't know if they'll work with these ones. Also what I'm noticing about these Spanx leggings, since they are velvet, they are attracting a lot of like linty materials from these other clothes, especially from this shirt. Not a huge deal. And I do have a lint roller right next to me. So it's just, I thought I'd mention it, you know. So let's try this on. It's very full, very cute. Okay, this top is absolutely beautiful. I did forget to mention that there is a zipper on the side to help get it on and off. It was a little bit hard to zip down. It's not like it's tight. It's super like loose here and stuff. So it's not like it was too tight to zip down. It just kept getting stuck a little bit. So that's kind of a problem. I would scared it might break. Uh, I do have a bra on, so sorry about that. It's kind of ruining the cuteness of it. But I love this. Color is beautiful. The shirt itself self is gorgeous. Are you supposed to put these up? Oops. Is that how you're supposed to wear it? I feel like this is how you're supposed to wear it, but I like it better kind of like that. Then they're too droopy. It, yeah, that's definitely not how you wear it. It's still really cute though. I love this. So cute. $55 though? Mm, don't know. It looks really cute with these pants and shoes though too, by the way. I really, really like it. I just don't know if I want to pay $55 for it. Next is the Open Edit Rouge Front Mesh Top. This is $49 in the shade of Black Multi Painters Mark. This is super soft, whatever this material is. It's got a ruching string down the middle, so it's like cinched in the middle of the front with the strings that come down to the bottom. It's got a black material underneath the front of the flower material and then on the sleeves it just goes to only the flower material so it's see-through and then you've got your cinch wrist there this is definitely not typically my style but I feel like this could be cute it's also cinched in the back on both sides here and here I don't know if you'll be able to see that but definitely something different for me but I feel like I might possibly like it mm -hmm. all right here is that top I am actually really 
really, really liking this. Not necessarily with these pants that I have on. I guess it's not bad with them on, but um, the shirt itself is so cute. I'm pretty sure, oh yeah, you can tighten this, the strings themselves, to basically create another shape. If you want it shorter, if you want a little bit of belly sh showing, you can tighten these strings and it cinches it a little bit. I like that about it. Not that I will wear it like that probably, but um, I like the option. So depending on your wearing up for bottoms, this might be beneficial to cinch it up more. So I really like that about it. It's different. This is a good box. All right, that is it for this box. I feel like this is one of the best boxes I've had. This is gonna be very hard to pick and choose items. Like I know which items I really like. The Spanx, I like them. I just need to size up. This shirt, I love it. I just don't know if I wanna keep it because will I wear it that much? The Adidas sweatshirt, I love it. I'll wear that all the time. The Moto jacket, I love it, but will I wear it as much because it is so heavy? I'm iffy on that one. I probably will wear that one lot honestly the white linen shirt that's a no the rust colored shirt I do really like that but after taking that off too the zipper just is too hard to work with so for $55 I'm just too afraid of paying that much and then the zipper breaking or something not it's really cute but not a fan the hat I love the shoes too expensive the purple shirt I'm probably just gonna take that back just because the colors not my favorite overall very very happy with the box and whoever this stylist was did fantastic let me know what your thoughts on the items are what would you keep what would you not I'm really scared of how much I'm gonna be spending on this box I love it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Other than that, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.